want you in our life, oh God, hallelujah. See us through tonight, oh God. Church, continue to worship the Lord, our God, right now, in spirit and in truth, because he deserves all the worship, oh Lord, hallelujah. Give thanks, give your prayer as you are worshiping the Lord tonight. Let's continue to worship our living God. Talk to him. Lord, take full control. You have all the rights in our heart, oh God, tonight. Hallelujah. As we continue to worship, oh God, receive it, oh God, receive it, oh Lord. May this be aroma into your ears, oh God. Bring forth your presence tonight in our midst, oh Lord. Hallelujah, oh God. Yes, Lord. Let's continue to sing into your hands, Lord. Hallelujah.
thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, oh God. May our worship, Lord, be aroma and to your ears, oh God. Continually, Lord, we invite, oh God, the Holy Spirit that is continually be in our midst tonight, oh God, as we continue our service, oh God. We will leave out to you, Jesus. Kuya Nito, who is going home, you are going to use, oh Lord, to impart, oh God, your words tonight, oh God. The anointing of the Holy Spirit be upon him, oh Lord God, that every words come out in his mouth, oh God, will come from you, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. We give you praise, oh God. Receive it, oh Lord. Receive it, oh Lord God. Give you glory, oh God. This we pray in your holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. Ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, tell to your seatmates, I'm so blessed because you are here. I'm so blessed because you are here. so blessed because you are here. today. If you really a child of God, you know, when you see the person next to you, you are joyful, right? The joy of the Lord is in us, right? When we see each other as fellow citizens, of Christ, right? Amen. Amen. But if you uh, you don't like the, the, the person next to you, there's something wrong in your spirit. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Okay, so you can see our title, right? I can see the title verse and also the key verse, Ephesians 4, 11, 12. <laughs> okay, and it says, and he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, that will be our title, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Can you please uh, stand up? And let us pray. Let's bow our head. Heavenly Father, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, once again, Lord, that you have gathered us all here in one accord, and that is to give glory unto your name, to worship you, to hear more from you, to be encouraged, oh Lord God, by your word. So we pray that the Holy Spirit will give us the illumination of your word, encouragement, teach us, Lord God, and even rebuke us if there's anything wrong oh lord god in our lifestyle we pray lord that you mold us equip us so that lord you will be strong and we can be used lord god mightily lord in your kingdom father in heaven we pray that you will open our spiritual ears and eyes and we pray for the covering of your blood so that lord the enemy will not take oh lord god or steal the seed that you're going to sow, Lord God, in our hearts, Father, tonight. Lord, we thank you. We pray that we will enjoy your presence, Lord God, because in your presence, there's a fullness of joy. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated, please. Amen. Okay, I'll give you a background. The key verse that we that we just read a while ago it's taken from Ephesians 4, 11, 12 in the book of Ephesians actually it's a letter to the Ephesus, okay? the Ephesian church or the church in Ephesus we are the church, amen? what is the church? review who are the church? Ayo, assembly of the believer or the called out assembly so Paul wrote a letter when he was in house arrest. Everybody says house arrest. house arrest. In other words, he is not in the public jail. Amen. He is in the house. And while he is he was ministering to the Ephesian church through letter, he was in house arrest. Okay, I'll give you a blueprint based on my uh, Bible study guide. Amen. Chapter 1 to chapter 3. Wala pa dyan. Okay, it talks about that we are in Christ. We are in Christ. Okay, in chapter four to six, because it has only six chapter, 
We are united. So the first one, one to three, is we are united in Christ. Everybody say united. United. Amen. So in chapter four and six, it says that in the blueprint, we are united in the body of Christ. Amen. We are united in the body of Christ. Okay, so, so what does it mean that we are united in the body of Christ? Any believer, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you receive the salvation forgiveness, amen, we are a member of the body of Christ. In a bigger context, we are the member of the universal body of Christ, which is church, amen? Whether the label of your church is Jesus is Alive Community Church, G-I-L, W-I-M, and about God's Way Fellowship, and about BCF, CCF, Loreans, SGCF, All Nations Full Gospel Ministry, whatever the label, we are brothers and sisters, and we are a member of the body of Christ in the universal context. Now, having said that, Titan and Sister Annie, <laughs> amen, we are also called to be a member of the local church. Like tonight, this is a like community church, midweek service. We are a member, right? So in this, in this church, we are composed of many parts, right? <coughs> Look at your neighbors. Not all of them are eyes. Sagwa. <laughs> Amen. Not all of them are feet. Yes. Or hands. We have we are composed of many members. Tell to your seatmates. We are composed of many members. And all the members has its own function. Unique function. So it's not hindi pwede that everybody of us is eyes or everybody of us is feet or hands, right? My unique function tayo, okay? So let's go to the verse. Ano lang yun? Pampatagal lang. Amen. Ephesians 4, 1 to 6. Okay, it says, I, therefore, who was talking? Paul. Paul. And he was addressed to? Jesus. Amen. He says, Therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, right? Beseech you. In other words, he was begging or he was urging the church in Ephesus to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. Do you believe that the reason why you are here it's not because of the person who invited you in. Mm -hmm. You are being called. Mm -hmm. Tell to your seatmates. You are, you are, you are, you are being called. We are called. And not only we are called. God has handpicked you, chosen. Amen? That's why you are here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen? It's a privilege that you are, Lord, who am I? Yes, that you are mindful of me. me. Special ka pala. Tell to your seatmates. Special. <laughs> we are special. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Ano pa? Okay. It says, with all lawlessness, in other words, with all humbleness and gentleness, with long suffering or patience, bearing with one another in love. Ang ganda pakinggan, no? It's, it's, it tickles my ears when you hear this, you know, the word of Paul and encourage the church in uh, Ephesus. Is it, is it happening now in the church? <laughs> Are you enjoying so far? Really? <laughs> some, some of you are not convinced yet. <laughs> Amen. So bearing with one another in love. Endeavoring, in other words, to keep uh, or to take effort to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Look at this one. 
There is one body and one spirit, capital S, meaning the Holy Spirit. In the body, oh, sorry. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. What Paul was talking about here that, yes, we are in different or different members, but we are united. Amen. Tell to your seatmates, we are united. We are united. Amen. Is Jesus our Lord? Amen. Amen. Is the God is our God? God the Father is our God? Amen. Is the Holy Spirit is our God? Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. So we are united, right? In faith. Amen. Amen. We have one Lord. One faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is above all and through you. And through all and you all. Okay. Next. Okay, verse 7. But to each one of us. Grace, grace was given. Okay. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. I will explain later. I will read first and then we'll go one by one. Okay. Therefore it says, when he ascended on high. Who ascended on high? Jesus, he led captivity, captive, and gave gifts to men. Now this, he ascended, what does it mean? But that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is also the one who ascended far, everybody say far, far. above all the heavens that he might feel all things. Amen? Later we'll explain that. Okay? Next. There you go. And he himself. Everybody say, he himself. Who? Jesus. Jesus. What he did? Jesus. Gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. So in other words, not all are teachers. It says there, no? Not all to be apostles. Some only. Some to be apostles. Some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. For the equipping of the saints. For the work of ministry. What is ministry? Huh? Service. Everybody say service. Service. So if we are work of the ministry or if we are working in the ministry what are we minister <laughs> amen what is the meaning of minister servant amen so we are servant pala amen clear ba amen all the workers of our lord jesus christ are all servants. Remember, when we face Jesus Christ in the heaven, He will not tell us, well done, my faithful apostles, or teachers, or pastors, evangelists, no. Well done, my faithful servants. Nakakuha? Amen. Amen. What is the purpose? For the edifying of the body of Christ. What is edify? To build up. Amen. To build up, to strengthen Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Do you think now, at this very moment, are we united in the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God? Do you think at this very moment? Yes, we may say yes. But our action is not yet. Yes? That's why the the Lord Jesus gave that. Why? So that if we will be equipped, so that their function is to equip the church for the work of the ministry, so that Lord, it will be in strength in us. Amen? Actually, those not notable uh, gifts, when you say notable, it's highlights, you know? The gifts, they are the gift to the church. Are you blessed that we have this 
gifts in the church. Amen. 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 Are you thankful that we have pastors, apostles, teachers, evangelists in the church? Amen. Amen. So, what else? To a perfect man, para maging perfect, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Okay. That we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about carried about with every wind of doctrine. In other words, Paul is saying that we need to be mature. Because if we are children, alunan ka ng kasalanan eh. Amen? If you are still a baby in Christ, yes, when you see your leader and you don't like your leader, <laughs> sometimes you are not attending anymore in the church. Nag-gets nyo? Yes? If somebody or maybe in my life I have offended somebody, that person that I'm offended, they will not come. Because baby pa. Amen? You're still baby. Okay, let's move forward. What else? By the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful body. In other words, we will not be deceived. Everybody say deceived. Deceived. Amen. But speaking the truth in love, may grow up in all things. It talks about level up or being matured into him who is the head, Christ. From whom the whole body join and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share. <coughs> causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Ito, this is a powerful verse. If we will work together hand in hand, ibadit, we have a team, right? Together we can. Amen? If we will work together, we will achieve this. Right? See? I will repeat that. From whom, from whom the whole body join and knit together by what every joint supplies. We are connected to Christ according to the effective working by which every part does. That's why you have a part here. You are not just an expectator but a participator mm -hmm. amen i would like to encourage you if you are for a long time you are a christian already long time okay i'm not saying that first time around <laughs> i want to see you next tuesday okay and you don't have a ministry two things it might be you are a new in the church or your, the one who invited you did not encourage you to join the ministry or you don't see the needs of the people or what else you are not really a child of God how many of you believe that you are a child of God raise your hands amen, amen? for those who did not raise your hand <laughs> what is your plan okay let's move forward Okay, I, will give, I want to give you three points. The motivation to use our gifts in church ministry. How many of you believe that you have gifts? Raise your hands. Oh, ate. Ano plan mo sa buhay? Amen. Those who did not raise your hands. Mamaya makikita nyo. May gift kayo. Amen. Okay, let's move forward. The first points that I would like to share with you to motivate you and me that our gifts, uh, we can use that our gifts in church ministry, okay? Within the context of unity, kanina binasa natin, we have one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one Father. There is diversity. Everybody say diversity. diversity. Okay, let's move forward. Let's see. Ano yung sinasabi ni Gwen dito? Nakakalito talaga rin ito. It says here, but to each one of us, grace. Everybody say grace. grace. So in other words, you know that gift is by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. So I would like to encourage you. If it is by the grace of God, you don't need to envy others' gift. Yes? Bakit? Kasi it says here, 
Sabi roon, according to the measures of Christ's gift. So each one of us has been, has been given a gift. Amen? The moment you receive our Lord Jesus Christ, may gift ka na. Amen? Sabihin mo sa katabi mo. Tell to your seatmates. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sabihin mo pala kayo, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the gift. For the, gift. For the ministry. For the okay, next. Ang sabi dyan? Within, to each one of us, grace. Kaya sinulit ko, grace was given. Okay. And according to the measure of Christ's grip, He knows that. He knows how much gifts He will give to each and every one. Amen? So, maybe you don't know your gifts because you don't, you don't step forward to be used. You don't see, you, you, you are not seeing the needs of the people. Like what I've said earlier. So, according to the measure of gifts, what else? Christ gives gifts to men. And you want to come on, So, again, I will ask you how many of you has a gift from our Lord Jesus Christ? Raise your hand. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All of us has a gift. Amen. Kaya nga pinagpasalamat na po natin. So, let's go. So, the source of our gifts as per the Bible that we just read or the verse is Christ, right? So, every single believer has been gifted by our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, shout somebody and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give a mighty hand of praise because every single believer has been given by our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Who has designed these gifts? Plural. Amen? Marami ka palang gifts. Okay? Not else. Who measured these gifts according to His purpose? Amen? According to the purpose, He measured that and gave it to you and me. Give it freely to the believer by which you are to minister or to serve. Sayang naman. It is if you are not using your gifts, oh, because when God gave you gift or Christ gave you gift, He ex He is expecting that you will use that for His glory and to serve His people, right? Amen. So, are you encouraged now that you will use your gifts? Hey Lord, I don't know my gifts. Okay, what you can do, just obey. Observe what are the needs of the people and according to that respond just respond amen and you will you will you will notice or you will come to know what are your gifts because the bible doesn't say that ah this is your gifts and how how you're going to do that no you know i like the lord jesus christ when he was here on earth and uh, you know when he looked to the fields he saw the crowds okay and when he looked at when he saw the crowd and sabi ron, he has compassion. compassion amen that's why i like the the post of kuya babesh no? this will be our driving force the compassion amen when he saw the crowd he had compassion and he said Pray to the Lord of Harvest. Amen? That He will send workers to the vineyard. Amen? Because He saw the crowd. They are like a sheep without shepherd. They are lost. Amen? Did you look around and see the needs? Okay. Next, let's go to Romans 12, 3 to 8. Supporting. Because of the privilege and authority, Sino nagsasalita? Who was talking here? Paul. Because of the privilege, so in other words, kapatid, if you are working in the kingdom of God, it is a? Privilege. Wow. Praise God. Nakikinig sila. And what, what else? And authority. In other words, they are divine appointed and they given an authority. You know? The church, the, the, the pastors, the leaders, the uh, evangelists, the teachers, all of us, even in the ministry of helps, 
they are appointed and given an authority. See, I put that in red font. God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Paul is saying, don't think you are better than you really are. Remember, who is the source? You cannot, you know, by your own effort or your by own power or strength. Amen? It is the gift. It, somebody gave. Who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave you. That's why you, you know, that one of the uh, definition of grace is enabling power, right? The reason why we can do that because of the grace of God. The reason why I can stand here because of the grace of God. You know, when I first stand in the pulpit, oh my goodness. This one is shaking like this. And the moment that I hold the mic, it's like this. And uh, uh, to make it steady, I, <laughs> I hold with my two hands. And the crowds are laughing. They were laughing, you know. But praise God, because that was a long time ago and I'm still here. Amen. Teaching, preaching the word of the Lord. Amen. To God be the glory. Because of His grace, enabling power, unmerited favor, that's why we can do the work of the Lord and minister, serve. Actually, we are serving. The moment now we are serving, you know? When you prepare a message, it's like you are a chef. Amen? What do you mean, Kuya Lito, a chef? Okay, you gather all the ingredients, you prepare all the ingredients, you cook it, you bake it, everything, and after you, you, you finish preparing it, you are serving. Amen? And when you do that, you do that with love. Everybody say, love. love. Remember Peter when Jesus asked him, Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. This will, should be our driving force. And we will tackle it, tackle it later. Amen? So, encourage you all. Okay, what else? If your gift is to encourage, so again, okay, I will read. God has given you, if your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. Amen? If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership, ability, take the responsibilities, responsibility seriously. As a pagdasaktan, nawawala. It evaporates. When we get hurt, if you are a leader, you are evaporating. The, the, the first is the leader. You should not do that. Amen? That's why there, you know, the, the, there's a preaching and teaching of the word. Why? This is not to condemn you, but it, this is to encourage you and teach you. Why? So that the church will be equipped and will be edified to be strengthened. That's why there's a preaching and teaching of the word of the Lord. Amen? So, and if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. Amen? How many of you are kind? Show it to me. <laughs> Amen. Next. Okay. So, in Romans 12, 3 to 8, if we're going to summarize, we can categorize this by verse 6, give of prophecy. How many of you believe that we have here in our church the give of prophecy? Amen? Are we blessed? Hallelujah? Complete of a church natin? Amen. Amen. Give of serving in verse 7. Give of encouragement verse 8. And give of leadership verse 8. Give of showing kindness verse 8. Okay? Let's move forward because in the next uh, supporting verse, marami po yan. We will categorize the nine gifts. We will discuss the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Why? These gifts has been given to the church, as I've said, for the purpose of equipping, for the service, or the ministry, for the edification of the church. Amen? Okay. Tignan nyo kung mayro kayong gifts na ganun, ha? Okay, so the source of our gift is Christ. Next, 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 11, I'm going to read. There are diversities of gifts, different kinds of gifts, okay? But the same... Holy Spirit. There are differences in ministries. Tama? Someone are playing here. Right? May nagbili ng worship. 
Amen, guys. That someone is preparing for the tables of ministry of helps. Uh, we are being ministered by the word of God. There's a church, a um, antaudon in government. Okay, so all of us, they have what we call different ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, right? But it is the same God who works all in all. Very clear. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one of, for the profit of all. So in other words, they were given for us to grow. Amen? Para sa atin din. Right? Amen? For the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom. Through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge, through the same Spirit, and to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of Spirit, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but one and the same Spirit works all these things, this Distributing, everybody say distributing. distributing. To each one individually. As he yes. not because I'm holier than thou, that's why I have many gifts. For just for example, no. What it says, but one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he yes. wills. Clear? You cannot buy that gifts. You cannot work for that gifts. If you work for that gifts, it's not a gift anymore. Right? The reason why it is gift because you did not earn it. He gave it to you. Remember by the grace. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? Okay. Categories of gifts according to 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 11. We categorize into nine uh, into three, and there are nine gifts mentioned in First Corinthians 12, 4, 11. One is revelation gifts, spiritual gifts that reveal something, power gifts, gifts that do something, utterance gifts, gifts that saying something inspirational. Kuyadito, what are those? Okay. Ayan. Pakita natin. And you know what, brothers and sisters? These gifts can be seen in the fivefold ministry. Hallelujah. Especially the apostles. Amen? That's why we need to level up. We should not just be a disciple as encouraged by our pastor. We should be the sent one apostle. Amen? The sent one. Okay? We should not be stuck living in this uh, church. But we should go out also. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God if you are serving the Lord in worship and in, in the media. But imagine if your age is like me and you're still there. Right? <laughs> I would like to encourage you, Ate. You know, you, you have a white hair and you're still, you know, in the media and you know, you wear glass. But, uh, see? Diba? Parang hindi bagay. No? So we need to level up, mga kapatid. Are you encouraged? Tell to your seatmates, we need to level up. Amen? So, these gifts, the source of these gifts are our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, next. If every single believer has been gifted by our Lord Jesus Christ, if, who has designed these gifts, who measured these gifts according to his purpose, Given freely to the believer by which you are to minister and serve, what is the reason why we are not serving God? Amen? I know reason. You don't want to go out in your comfort zone. You don't see the needs of the people around you. Yes? I don't want to say this, but maybe you are not a child of God. Because every child of God, you know, Romans 5.5, I just came to my mind. 
when we became born again Christian, the love of God, the Holy Spirit, the love of God has been showered to us by the Holy Spirit. So the same compassion when Jesus looked at the person that they are lost is the same love that we can feel to others when we see others are continue sinning. So what is meant by that? We will not just sit in the four corners of our church. Correct? Amen? Right? We will go out and we will encourage them. Not only that, we will speak the word of God. Amen? We will preach the word of God. I'm not a preacher, Kuya Lito. No. We are commanded to preach the good news, right? Not all the believers is a preacher. What do you mean by that? We are not a preacher. No, you are. Preaching is just proclaiming the truth. You proclaim. Jesus loves you. Amen? That's preaching. Yeah? Preaching brings salvation and teachings how do we behave. Amen? Jesus loves you. And He wants to bless you. He wants to save you. Would you please, would you accept Him? Oh, diba? Because there's a forgiveness in Christ Jesus. You proclaim. Peter did that when they empowered by the Holy Spirit. And you know, he stand and many people, when they heard the preaching of Peter, received. How, how many were there? 3,000. Amen? Okay. So, ano yung reason natin? Bakit hindi natin ginagamit yung gifts natin? Meron ba? Okay. So, the next motive should be the cause by which the gifts were given. Verse 8 to 11. It says, therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, the Lord Jesus went up on high, and then captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now, this, he ascended, what does it mean? But he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. At first, Lord, ano ba yan? Praise God because we have Bible, you know, uh, study Bible. Okay. When I check that, God, it says in Psalm 68, because Peter used that uh, verse in, oh sorry, Paul used that verse in Psalm 68, 18. God is pictured as a conqueror marching to the gates and taking tributes from the fallen city. In other words, when Jesus ascended or descended, okay, he did the ministry, right? He did the mission. What's his mission? To seek and save the lost. And not only that, you know, his body is being our uh, the sacrifice on the cross, okay? And through by his crucifixion, death, and resurrection, amen? He won the victory over Satan, sin, and death. Amen? Amen. And because of that, when He ascended, remember the disciple, Jesus told the disciples before He ascended, wait here in Jerusalem. Amen? Wait in Jerusalem. Because He will send the promise, the helper. The Bible says another helper. Parakletos. Amen? Another helper. Amen? And to make the long story short, at the day of Pentecost, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And their life has never been the same since that day. Amen? Remember Peter. He preached with power. Amen? So, do you have that gifts also? You have that gifts also. All you need to do is to take step of faith. Obey. See the needs of the people. Amen? See, it says here, He was victorious over Satan, sin, and death. And when we believe to Jesus, He gave us eternal life. Jesus loves us. Tell to your seatmates. Jesus loves us. He gave His life for us. And even on the cross, He was thinking of us. Do you know that? The very reason why he was there was because of you and me. Amen? Okay. That's why in verse 11, because he was thinking you and me and he wants to strengthen the church, 
He gave these gifts, notable gifts, which, which are the fivefold ministry, is a gift of Christ to the church. They are divinely called and set apart for ministry. Amen. So, sabi ni sa Romans 1 1, Paul, a bond servant of Jesus Christ, called. Everybody say called. Call. Are you called? Are you chosen? Amen. Amen. Separated. Meaning set apart. Okay. And for the purpose of preaching the gospel of God. Romans 1.1. 1, 1. Okay. They have authority from God. Okay. Verse uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 18. I may seem to be boasting too much about the authority. Yes. The authority that God has given to us by the Lord. But our authority builds you up. Not tear you down. Hallelujah. It builds you up. It encourages you. It, it strengthens you. Amen? It builds you up. It doesn't tear you down. So I will not be ashamed of using my authority. Paul says. Kaso, if someone, you know, rebuke you, we get hurt, and suddenly we disappear. Like uh, Karen Carpenter. Why do birds? Suddenly appear. Disappear. Okay. So, purpose of the Bible ministry, one, to equip the saints for service to minister. Amen? That's the purpose. What else? To do God's work and to build up the church, to strengthen the church. Are you willing to be a part of that? Amen? Amen? Willing po kayo? Mga kapatid? Yung mute dito, gusto niya rin? Amen? Because we are the body, right? We are the members of the uh, uh, body of Christ. And each one has a member, each one has a purpose. Each one has a calling. Amen. I would like to encourage you, brothers and sisters. Be useful for the glory of God. Amen. Okay. So the cause by which the gifts were given. You know? See Lord. So on last, the effect. So the effect. The effect. If all of us will use our gifts. Amen? Verse 13 to 16. Till we all come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man. In other words, to be mature. To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ that we should no longer be children. Remember the verse that, you know, little children and then men and then the father. So it talks about maturity, right? Men, you overcome the world, right? So we should not be a children, toss and pro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. Remember, there's so many deception in this world. We are living actually in the days of deception. Amen? Even the church member. I can see that. <laughs> Worship service, you are not here. Oh. Amen? The Bible says that a day in the Lord's court is better than a thousand elsewhere. Amen? There's a time for those. But if, if it is worship service, choose to be in the courts of the Lord. Amen? Sino ba natin? Amen? What is the first commandment? Love the Lord your God, Lord your God, Lord your God. Amen. Not love the world, huh? Eh? Not love the world. Love the Lord your God. Okay. What else? But speaking the truth and love may grow up in all things into him who is head, Christ, from whom the whole body join and knit together, but what every joint supplies, according to the effectiveness working by which every part does its share. So in other words, every one of us has something to share to edify the church. Come on, somebody. Amen? Amen. Whether you feel sleepy right now, I would like to encourage you. You still have a purpose in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. So, 
What is the purpose? From whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effectiveness working by which every part does its share. What is the cause? That's why there's some. If there's a cause, there's an effect. effect. Cause and effect. Causes growth of the body for the edifying of self and love. How many of you wants to see that the midweek service will be filled with worshiper? Come on. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. We can do that. Amen. Brothers and sisters, together we can. Amen. We can do that if we will be using our gifts to minister, to be equipped, to minister, to build each other. Amen? Okay? What we are waiting for, encourage. Amen? If you have a gift of encouragement, then encourage. If you have a gift of preaching, then preach. Amen? Actually, we are, should be a preacher because Jesus commanded his disciples. Disciples are the learner before. And they turned all to apostles, right? Even Matthias became apostle, which you didn't hear much in the Bible. But every time you hear the disciples, Matthias, I was there. Faithfulness. Amen? Faithfulness. Are we faithful, church? Okay. <coughs> Agree? Okay. The effects of if all of us will use our gifts to minister, okay, let's summarize. We'll be united in faith in the knowledge of Christ. How many you wants to be? In that situation, that all of us will be united in faith. Amen. That we will work together. That we will help each other. That we will encourage one another. Amen. We want to be like that. That we will be mature in the Lord Christ like character. Amen. What else? We'll overcome the deception of this world because we are founded in the Word. When you are founded in the Word, Remember the parables of the fool and the wise builder? The wise builder is founded in the word. So no matter what storm, winds, rain, he's not shaken. Why? Because he is founded in the word of God. Right? What else? We'll speak the truth and love and grow up in all things in Christ. Amen? Including me. Yes? Sinasama ko dito. All the members of the body will share this part that cause growth of the body for building of itself in love. Amen? These are the three motivation points that I would like to share you. Amen? Christ is the source of our gifts, the cause <coughs> where the gifts were given, and the effects. If all of us will use our gifts to minister. Amen? Amen? Ayan. Summary na po tayo. Okay? The source of our gifts is Christ. So you don't need to, you know, uh, be a competition to others. Don't compare yourself to others. Or don't envy others' gifts. Amen? Right? What else? If the source of our gift is Christ, we don't earn that. We don't buy that. You know? If... Maybe you're thinking that you are holier than thou. No, it is a gift. It is by grace. Okay? And what's the cause? Because he won. Because his love. He won the, over Satan. He won over sin. He won over death. And he loved us. That's why he gave us gifts. Because he, he will not leave us orphan. Right? Amen? That's why Jesus sent the Holy Spirit for the equipping of the church. Amen? So that he will be the, another helper who is in us. Remember, greater is you that the greater is he that is in you than he that in this world. Amen. We are more than conquerors. Amen. So the effect, if all of us will use our gifts to edify and strengthen the body for the ministry. How many of you wants to be a part of the ministry? Raise your hands. Amen. Amen? So praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, shall we stand? Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord God. Lord, this is not a new teaching, but Lord, this is what you taught before by the apostles, 
Lord God, by your followers, Lord God. We just repeating is repeating, oh Lord God, so that Lord, Lord, we will be encouraged. We will be always be reminded, oh Lord God, that our gifts, oh Lord God, should be used for your glory, for the service of your people, to bring glory unto your name. And Lord, as we, oh Lord God, use our gifts, we should, Lord, empowered by your love. Your love, oh Lord God, your compassion will be our driving force that will see the needs of the people for the service. To serve them, Lord, to guide them, to encourage them, oh Lord God. And thank you, Lord, for the gifts, the notable gifts, oh Lord God. The fivefold ministry, the ministry of helps, oh Lord God. Lord, we thank you for all those gifts. Those gifts were given because of your grace, because you love the church. You want the church to be built up. You want the church to be, Lord, and strengthened, oh Lord God, so that we can use, Lord God, mightily, Lord God, in your kingdom while we are waiting for your return, Father. Lord, thank you. We pray that every one of us who are listening tonight, oh Lord God, and even in the Zoom call, Lord, will participate with this challenge that we should be a minister, O oh Lord God, in your church, O oh Lord God, in this world, O oh Lord God. Lord, we pray that you will empower us. We pray that the Holy Spirit will guide us, Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, the infilling of the Holy Spirit. So, Lord, all the gifts will manifest, as the Spirit says. Lord, it is the Spirit that manifests, O oh Lord, that those gifts, Father. Lord, we pray, Lord God, that everything that we will do, we will do it for your glory. We will do it according to your ways and will and for your glory alone, O Lord God. Lord, because you are the rewarder, O Lord God, of your people. Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.